welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and I am at home. I got home from the cruise ships about a week ago now. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Coming back home after you've finished your cruise ship contract. And surprisingly, there's a lot to talk about. So... But a few of you have asked me like what I've been doing since I've been home. So I've been able to see my family, my friends, I've been spending a lot of time with my grandparents. I've been eating all the food I wasn't able to eat while I was on the ship. I have been drinking an abundance of tea and just really enjoying my first week home. Just seeing all my friends which has been amazing. But now I have been home for a week, the famous lull has kicked in. So for those of you who don't know, Basically, when you work on a cruise ship, everything is 100 miles an hour. And then you come home, and for the first week, it carries on being like 50 to 100 miles an hour. You've got people to see, places to be, things to do. And then after the first week, when you've seen everyone and you've done everything you needed to do, it drops down to zero miles an hour. <laughs> and after spending six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months on a cruise ship where things do move, at 100 miles an hour, it's a very hard adjustment. People don't realise that, and I didn't realise that when I first started doing cruise ships. I thought, well surely the hard adjustment is going to be leaving my home and going to a cruise ship. And that is hard, but you expect that. You think when I leave the cruise ship and go home, I already know what home is, so there's gonna be no adjustment. I'm very sorry to tell you, my friend, that there is gonna be an adjustment period because of what I've just said. And every person that has ever worked on a cruise ship that I have spoke to goes through this lull. It's something that we all experience. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to enjoy your time at home. I know this sounds like something that I shouldn't have to give advice on, but it's something that we all actually struggle with. And I know that I would have benefited from hearing this advice on my first contract, so. Here it is. Because things change so often and so much, you are constantly stimulated. And if you're not stimulated by the constant change, there are people around all the time. You probably share a cabin. I didn't share a cabin, but when I left my cabin, I would walk to the mess and I would see at least 20 people in the mess. There are people at work. There are people. When you get off the ship, there are people. Like, However long you spend on the cruise ship, you are surrounded by people. And then you come home and there aren't any people. Everything's just a lot slower, you know, things don't change so much. And because you're only talking to maybe those two people that you're staying with on a regular basis, it's like, oh. <laughs> there's nothing to adjust to and you're used to adjusting all the time. I really hope that this is all making sense. Now obviously you're gonna see your friends that you haven't seen in six, seven, eight, nine months. And when you go out with them, it's gonna be amazing. That's not really what I'm talking about. Your meetups with your friends are gonna be great. But like I said, after that first week when you've seen everyone because you cram it all into the first week, then you're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> okay, this is, wow. You're still in the mindset of go, go, go. And your surroundings, don't warrant that like even now after a week of being home when me and my dad sit down to have dinner i'm still eating at 100 miles an hour and he's like slow down you don't need to go anywhere or like i drink a coffee and i'm i'm burning my tongue because i'm you know getting it down my neck and he's like it's okay <laughs> you can actually take a whole hour to drink that coffee if you want and i'm just I'm not there yet, I haven't slowed down. Whether at the end of your contract you cannot wait to go home, or like me, whether you're at the end of your contract and you're like, I'm actually loving my time on board, I could probably do another month, but I'm going home, you will get this. Because it's the adjustment of how fast things are happening. You then find that you're like, I am so incredibly bored. You know, you've just spent your whole time on the cruise ship thinking about going home and how amazing it's gonna be. And then what happens is because you're so bored and because you're struggling to adjust to the slow pace of things, and you're not present, you're not enjoying your time at home. You're either fantasizing or reminiscing about the contract that you've just finished. So my first piece of advice is, although you're bored, 
don't go around telling your family and friends that you're bored. Number one, it's disrespectful because they live here, this is the pace of life that they live. Also, it's insensitive. These people have been looking forward to seeing you for six, seven, eight, nine, ten months and you're gonna spend your time saying that you actually don't want to be here. And I did this, very ashamed, but I did this between my first contract and my second contract. I spent my whole time at home telling my mom how bored I was, how much I couldn't wait to go on my next ship, and I didn't realise it at the time that I was hurting her feelings. And it was only after that we had the conversation and she was like, well, I had been looking forward to seeing you for over a year or just under a year and you spent the whole time that you were at home basically slagging it off and after I was like oh my god like I can't believe I did that that's awful so don't do what I did because actually no one wants to hear it and I think this is when like disconnects can occur you know people who work on ships for a very long time sometimes find that they lose the connection with their friends and their family back home and I've always been really worried about that happening. And I think the reason that it happens is because when people come home from their contracts, they're not really there. They spend their entire time at home thinking about what's next instead of spending actual quality time with their family and friends. So it's really important that you don't spend your time at home moaning about the fact that you're bored and you can't wait for your next adventure. And you actually accept okay, this is the pace of life at the moment that I'm gonna live, these are the people that I am surrounded by, and I am gonna give them my full attention, and I'm going to enjoy this time moving at a slower pace. My second piece of advice is to avoid the boredom stage. And the way you do this is don't do what everyone does. They basically arrange to see every single person in the first week. They're like, I'm gonna go for breakfast with this friend and lunch with this friend and dinner with this friend, and that's just one day. And then that's it, at the end of the week you have seen absolutely everybody. So, see one person a day, because that way they get your full energy and your full attention. You're not worrying about like, oh, you know, I've got to go to dinner with this person later and I've got to go... You're like, this is the only person I am going to meet today. And because of that, they get all of you. And that way, after your meeting with that person, you feel like you have completely reconnected, you have caught up, you actually know what's going on in their life. You know, you haven't met up with them and been like, okay, I'm going to see you for two hours and then... I need to move on to the next friend. So see one person a day. And it's hard, it is hard because you want to see people as soon as you can because you've been away for so long. It's better for you and it's actually better for your friends and family because as I said, they are gonna get a better version of you if they're the only person you're seeing that day. Number three, so if you do eventually get to this boredom stage, you know, you've seen one person a day but you know what, I've run out of people and now there really is nothing to do. Or maybe all of your friends and family work a nine to five job Monday to Friday and they're like, I can only see you on the weekends. So your weekends are really busy, but then in the week you're like, <coughs> nothing to do. Rather than being like, I've got no one to see, this is so boring, this is so crap, embrace this time. This is the time that you do things that you can't do while you're working on a cruise ship. Cooking, make your family a nice meal for when they get home from work. Make your friend a meal. You know, you're gonna meet your friend on Saturday, so make some food. It's gonna save you money, you're not gonna have to go out to a restaurant and it's something to do today. Read a book, take a long walk. I actually love taking long walks because when you're on a cruise ship, obviously you're at sea most of the time and something that I really miss is hearing the birds. I never hear the birds. So taking a long walk in the morning or the evening when the birds are singing is something that I really enjoy doing. Go to the cinema, go for a drive, that's something else I miss. I love driving, I love putting my tunes on, zoning out. And also because you have no time limits, because you're on vacation, you can go wherever you want. Take a long drive, enjoy, listen to a podcast, watch YouTube videos. On Virgin, the internet allowed us to watch YouTube videos, but I know that on a lot of cruise ships, the crew Wi-Fi, you can't access YouTube videos. So now you're home, you can binge watch Cruising with Crew. <laughs> no, but watch YouTube videos, watch a film that you weren't able to watch while you were on board. Like, there's so many things that you can't do while working on a cruise ship. 
This is your time to indulge. This is not the time to be like, oh, I'm bored. Number four, so I have said in previous videos that one of the things that I love about cruise ships is that you learn something new pretty much every day. Because you're surrounded by people and because things are moving at 100 miles an hour, there's always a lesson to be learned, whether that's about yourself, whether you're learning a new word in another language, another point of view on a subject, there's something new to learn. So considering you are so used to learning things, Maybe that's what you're craving. So learn something new. Learn a new language, listen to a podcast, as I said, read a book, learn an instrument. If you can't cook, learn how to cook. Yoga, start going to the gym. Because I think something else that we can do, it's like human nature, is when we have a new chapter of our life coming, we'll be like, I'm gonna start doing something then. Like, when I go on the cruise ship, that's when I'm gonna start learning Spanish. We do it with New Year. We're like, clean slate, when, you know, when the New Year comes, that's when I'm gonna go to the gym and then we do it for like a week and fall off the treadmill, literally sometimes. But my point is, starting something when you're at home on vacation is the best time to start something. Not when you're on a cruise ship. You're gonna go on the new cruise ship, you're gonna have so many new things to learn, so many things to do, you're gonna be at work all the time, as well as starting a new skill. It's a lot easier to get into the habit while you are at home and you have nothing else to do, and then continue the habit when you go on the cruise ship and you've got all of these other things to take in. So if you do find that you're bored, that is something that's really gonna help pass the time and also make you feel proud of yourself which is going to release dopamine and you're not going to feel unhappy so it's a win-win but just try and not let yourself get bored there's no reason to be bored there's so many things that you can spend this time doing and it's great to look forward to your next contract or your next adventure but really try and enjoy where you are today because when you were on the cruise ship you were probably spending quite a bit of time thinking, I wish I was home, I wish I could hug my mom, I wish I could see my friend, and you can do that now. So please don't waste this time fantasizing about the future. Hug your mom, see your friend, do all of the things that you were fantasizing about doing when you were on the ship. And I think for me, because I have been doing this for so long, I've got used to having an expiry date put on an experience, you know, I join a ship and I know when it's going to be over. I come home and normally I know when it's going to be over because either I have another contract or I have another adventure lined up. And I think because I have an expiry date on a time, it makes me value that time more and actually it's more precious. You know, when we're in a situation where we're like, well, this is it, that's when we tend to take things for granted. You know, everyone thinks that they're gonna die in their sleep when they're 90. So we take it for granted, or we can take it for granted. But if someone told you, actually, you're gonna die in two months, I'm sure that you would treat the next two months as if they were the most precious thing in the world. That got a bit sinister, but you know what I mean. So please understand that your time at home is valuable. And this is what I intend to do. I intend to make the absolute most of having Christmas and New Year at home with my family because I might not have Christmas and New Year with my family next year. I might be away, they might not be here, you just don't know. So rather than fantasizing about the future or reminiscing about the cruise ship contract that I've just come off, I'm gonna stay firmly in the present and give my family and friends the attention that they deserve while I am home. But anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful. So now I am at home, I'm gonna be making videos like this for a while, talking on different subjects. So if you do have something that you want me to cover while I am at home and I have loads of time to research things and put things together, please let me know in the comments or DM me over on Instagram and um, you know we can sort something out and I can make the videos that you want to see. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please press the like button and the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video guys. Bye!